President Joe Biden is conspicuously absent from the primary ballot in New Hampshire, prompting concern among top Democrats in the state who are initiating a write-in campaign to ensure the president is not excluded from the first primary state, thus avoiding potential embarrassment. This move was spurred by Rep. Dean Phillips of Minnesota, who announced his challenge to Biden for the Democratic nomination. President Biden chose not to place his name on the state's primary ballot following the Democratic National Committee's DNC, restructuring of the 2024 nominating calendar, a schedule originally proposed by the president late last year, altering its century-old lead-off position. The DNC has pledged to penalize candidates participating in unsanctioned primaries, including the one scheduled in New Hampshire. The DNC's plan earlier this year aimed to make South Carolina the first presidential primary voting state at Biden's suggestion, displacing Iowa and New Hampshire, which are considered unrepresentative of the broader Democratic Party due to their limited major urban areas. New Hampshire's law stipulates that its primary must precede similar contests, and despite the DNC's stance, state Republicans in control, along with the Secretary of State responsible for setting the primary date, remain steadfast in adhering to their schedule. It is highly anticipated that New Hampshire will proceed with its unsanctioned primary, wherein Dean Phillips and self-help guru Marianne Williamson will feature on the ballot, likely campaigning fervently to garner media attention. The grassroots write-in campaign is spearheaded by seasoned Democratic figures like Jim Demers and Kathy Sullivan, a former state Democratic Party chair, receiving support from notable New Hampshire Democrats, including state senators, gubernatorial candidates, and former representatives. They have formed a Federal Election Commission-registered entity called Granite State Write-In. Notably, the Biden campaign and the state Democratic Party are not affiliated with this initiative, and the group's website does not list members of the state's all-Democratic federal delegation to avoid DNC backlash. New Hampshire's Secretary of State, David Scanlon, has recommended local election officials to enlist extra help to handle the potentially substantial number of write-in votes, acknowledging the extra workload but expressing confidence that towns will acquire the volunteers and resources needed for the task. The 2024 election is seen as crucial for the fate of democracy, beginning with support for Joe Biden in New Hampshire's first-in-the-nation primary, as emphasized on the group's website. This situation underscores the complexities of shifting primary dynamics and the significance of ensuring every vote is counted in a crucial election year.